Now we've mentioned this before, but I want to go ahead and make a completely new video about it. If you hit the W key, that brings us into our gizmo mode. We're going to hit this gear icon, and now we have a remesh by decimation. Go ahead and turn off X symmetry by tapping the X key first, and then you can go back to remesh by decimation. And you can very quickly just come over here to the target polygon count, and you can remesh by decimation to, say, in this example, 26,000 polygons. So we're going from 207 down to 26,000. And because it's already pre-processed, we can quickly just move this in if we want to lower it. Just keep getting lower and lower or higher and higher, so you can very quickly dial in the exact amount you want. Now if we go up here to this gear icon and we delete this, we can also go into the Z plugin. Let's go ahead and drag this over here. We're going to go to Decimation Master. And you're going to notice down here we have new presets. You can dial in your own custom thousand polygon count. So here's 30,000 set in here. Or you can just click on one of these. So if you want to go from, again, 207 points down to 75,000, we can just hit the 75,000. It'll pre-process once, so it's processing one time. And then it drops it to 75,000. And since we've already pre-processed, all you got to do is start hitting these buttons. So we can go 35K, 20K, 150K, and just dial these in and out as needed. Of course, if you want to set your custom points here, you can just drag this out. We can go to 104, or you can come up here to these polygons here, and let's say we can type in 10, hit enter, hit decimate current, and then we can drop down to 10. Now you can go up here and you can say 20, hit enter, decimate current, and you're good to go. Uh, one other thing is you can, just like anything else in ZBrush, if you hold down Control Alt and tap any one of these, you can set a hot custom hotkey to these. So instead of coming to this menu, you can just assign a hotkey if you know the resolution that you want to decimate at as you're working on, say, your Sculptures Pro projects.